Well, I don't think the magic resistance itself is what matters at the first point. Although it is it technically, it is the most valuable point in terms of flat out magic resistance. I think just having the capability of orb walking uh -oh. is pretty nice. Artstyle coming in with a side with a Chen. Gets a stomp off onto PyCat. The stun's going to follow it up from Dendi. The nightmare to save. Is it going to be enough to keep PyCat up? It will not. Like, yeah. there, there's no way he just wins this lane from the start that he's had. And Sonico is going to spot out. Fucking mad here on the high ground. He's eating a couple of auto attacks from that Arctic burn. Dendi, not enough mana to throw out another spell. Brain Sap to equalize the health for the time being. Throws out a Nightmare too to keep himself safe. Ooh. Funic with the Fissure. Does that actually block? Oh my god, it actually Do they does. Know? He's not salving up. Uh, Pycat has managed to close the gap in terms of CS. So in the past, when we see Rave King carries, it's generally a Blink Dagger first. Bottom lane. Um, yep, nice stun here and open it up. But here comes a Centaur. In fact, the Centaur is not going to hit the stun on Ake. He will go down to a Vos Gyrocopter. The Rocket's going to come down. Call down being gone at level 6 after that kill. Vos really just lose the game. Yeah, but, I, but that's kind of where they're at right now. It's like you buy an item or you have buyback. Those are your choices. And having the armlet could be enough to like go frontline and get a, like maybe one or two lucky crits. Maybe take a hero down. But then you also have to worry about the Cold Embrace. Well, Cold Embrace just got expended by a Centaur, but this Tornado is doing quite a bit of the work. And so is the Splinter Blast. Everybody's at half HP thanks to that Tornado. Look and at the, the Lightning. lightning they spam. can't defend. They're going to lose the Tier 3 Tower. There is no Glyph in sight. What are they going to do? I gotta say, this this Chen has actually been like phenomenal for me. Gonna see him stun, follow up here, Jeez. onto the Bane, just dies immediately. Winter's Curse being thrown out onto Loda, will pop his reincarnation, gets the urn popped on him as well. He's still being kept alive though for the time being. The reincarnation is slow on four members of Na'Vi. Funnick gets roared before he's able to throw out the Echo Slam, the Chen heal, and the Cold Embrace, keeping Dendi alive. It's back in... Okay, this this is looking really grim right now for Alliance. Do they have enough damage to kill anyone? No, they don't. Call down though. However, we'll dish out the damage for the side of Navi. They melt the Rave King, and Amber Bulldog's gonna get clipped by the lightning. Looks like that's gonna be one Rex, and I don't think Navi's stopping with three heroes dead. They have so much sustain. So that's yeah. the important part. Is well, two I, games in a row, Alliance uh, assume the game will go long enough for the hero to actually come into effect, which Navi said no. It's not going to go long enough. Well, He's going to try to do a, a backstab, but Loda, keep in mind, he doesn't have reincarnation. It's down to half HP. He pops a play mail, which gets damage off him for a bit, but the call down will hit on Loda, and Loda's dead on the back line. Meanwhile, looks like Dandy, again, unkillable, and I think Bane is just going to be forced away. He does have a teleport scroll, but I don't think he'll make it home as Funic blinks forward. Effing Mad is dead as well. There is a buyback here from the Rave King, but again, he's just buying back to call GG as Alliance just get dismantled. Yeah, that was a sub-20 minute game. Like, I, I don't really know what else to say. I think art style, personally, for me, in game number one, it was Sonico. He played great. This game, the draft.